Boy, check this freaking mess out. This is a quality Salvinelli pipe lighter. Look at that. I barely got this lighter apart, guys. I mean, it was... I mean, nasty isn't the word. Looks like the plating is coming off here. I couldn't get this bottom off. Finally had to stick a little like type of wood screw in there and put some uh, PB blast around the edge just to get it off. Look at the corrosion on that tank. See that plate right there, that steel plate? That's usually a shiny metal. I don't know what happened to this thing. Well, the good thing is, is the PZO is still good. I'll clean it up a little bit, but this is a this is a freaking disaster. A silver plated lighter. Well, I'm going to see if I can restore it back to the normal working condition. And if so, uh, I'll do another video on it. You can see right now, this is all corroded up. Let's see if I can zoom in a little closer. Everything is just all corroded up. A matter of fact, I got a, I got another lighter here in parts. There, look at here. Now, let me take this out of frame. The one I got, and here's what it should look like. I ain't never seen a lighter like that in that kind of shape in all my life. Remember I told you about the little brass or little plate down there? Well, you can see it right there. It's all nice and shiny, you know. Well, I'll get back with you when I get it all cleaned up, checked out, and rebuilt. Hopefully everything functions right. Hopefully nothing breaks in the process. Because there's no replacement parts on these unless you send these in to the repair center. And uh, I live in the central. I live in Iowa, so it costs about usually about sixty-five dollars, sixty, sixty-five dollars to fix it, and then you're looking at about fifteen, about fifteen dollars to ship it. So you know you're looking at about eighty dollars just to fix it, and I'm not gonna spend that kind of money on that lighter. I'll just fix it myself. All right, guys.